We're almost there, folks. Thanks, Dave. Um, I will be speaking to you today about the, involve, uh, the government's involvement in this project. A large majority of our project hinges on whether the government can exchange cash injection out of a current aid program and redirect it into a local aid program. I started by visiting DFAT uh, websites, which proved to be vague and unhelpful. <laughs> With the help of David and Claire, I developed a set of questions that I sent to different ministers with the hope of getting answers. I, ha I had mixed results. The foreign, uh, the foreign Affair and Trade Minister told me to look at the DFAT website. Well, this was unhelpful. <laughs> but the Agricultural Minister was more helpful. Even though I didn't speak with him personally, I did speak with Mr. Martin Walsh, Director of Horticulture Policy. Mr. Walsh indicated that there was and other group in Tasmania tr that tried to lobby government to give them some cash, uh, aid cash, and inject it into an aid program. The general response to the government's response to this request was that the money was needed to pool with other countries buy, to buy food at the right price and at the right situation. He suggested that the government would see more benefit in spending aid money in second and third world countries, helping local farmers to produce larger yields for longer shelf life. To get more perspective, I contacted my local state member, Mr. Ian Rickus, LMP party for the Lockyer Valley. Mr. Rickus told me that this was a good idea, however, most of the world can feed themselves therefore not needing any more assistance from the Australian farmers. The only exception was Africa, and their problem was due to corruption, turmoil, and political unrest. This was also backed up by a farmer who suggested that Golden Circle tried to try a similar idea in the 90s, but knocked it on the head because the African governments of the time said if water, shelter and food were given to their people, their populations would explode and they would have a larger problem. Mr Walsh suggested that the government might not give direct cash injection, injection into food aid programs, but there were grants and funding available for the private sector. Therefore, it comes down to the private enterprise and private industry to take this project further. In conclusion, we now know, you, you now know, uh, as the audience and are aware, there is an out of, spec problem, out of spec veggie problem and there is a chronic hunger problem. We have solved both problems, preserved the out of spec veggies and feed them to chronic hunger. Simple, uh, you might think this is simple, but if it was simple, we wouldn't be standing here right now. At the beginning, we started with a great idea, but we discovered that at this point in time, the challenges outweigh the return. Large and existing manufacturers, factories, can't handle such low volumes. Therefore, smaller plants would be needed to set up be set up in key growing areas. We estimate that at least six plants would be needed for the eastern seaboard at a cost of $25 million each. The private sector would then have to raise $150 million. The quantities of these out of spec veggies would still be, sm would be too small to run profitably and efficiently without specific crops grown and no farmer in their right mind is going to grow a specific crop for aid unless they're going to get paid for it. We believe, we believe that there is technology out there to make this idea a reality. We acknowledge that cannering manufacturing is not the way at the moment 
but but has oh but it has been suggested that entrepreneurs courses from the Sydney University or Fugal Innovation potentially will take this on, idea on. Which, which leads me to my final comments. I pose the question, everyone in this room is a leader. We belong to the vegetable industry. We all have a network and combining those networks, we can achieve a win-win for the outer spec veggies and chronic hunger globally. As leaders, we have a responsibility to make a difference. I'll just pass now on to Warren that will run the Q&A mission for there.